In this video we're going to talk about the force of gravity, also known as weight. You may have heard that astronauts are considered to be weightless when they are in outer space. But why do people say this, and what is weight anyways? Well, weight is literally the force of gravity acting on an object. And just like any force, weight can be calculated with the equation F equals ma. Now, A is a special constant. It's the acceleration due to gravity. And this is always equal to 9.81 meters per second when an object is on the surface of the Earth. And so we could actually change this equation up a little bit. And we could say it's F subscript G, and that just means force of gravity, is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity. And so we use this lowercase g to indicate that it's the constant acceleration due to gravity. Now it's also very important to note that mass is not the same thing as weight. Here is weight and here is mass. So you can see that mass is actually required to calculate the weight. And so somebody's weight could change depending on the force of gravity or the acceleration due to gravity. Now technically the acceleration due to gravity is only 9.81 meters per second squared for an object that is on the surface of the Earth and at an elevation of sea level. The farther you are from sea level, the less the acceleration due to gravity is going to be. Okay, so let's calculate weight. This is me standing at sea level and I have a mass of 82 kilograms. So what is my weight? Well we can use the equation F equals ma and I'm going to change it so I'm calculating the force of gravity. I'm going to use g, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. Now just to show you what we're going to be calculating, if I draw a free body diagram, I'm calculating this force of gravity going downwards. Okay, so let's plug in our numbers here into our equation. And so my weight, in other words the force of gravity, is going to be equal to about 804 newtons. Now there are 4.45 newtons in a pound, so if I divide this number by 4.45, I have a weight of about 181 pounds. Oh, and by the way, since I'm standing on a surface, there would also be the normal force, which is the, that force that uh, is opposite to the force of gravity when something's on a surface. This is due to Newton's third law. And the normal force would also be equal to 181 pounds. It's just in the opposite direction. Now remember that the force of gravity is going to be less with greater altitude. So if I was standing on top of Mount Everest, which has an altitude of over 8,800 meters, or over 29,000 feet, I would weigh less. Although, I wouldn't weigh that much less. The force of gravity would only be about 0.3% less. And so, instead of 9.81, acceleration would be equal to about 9.78 meters per second squared. Not a big difference. Okay, so what if I was standing on the moon? The acceleration due to gravity on the moon is about one-sixth what it is on the Earth, because the moon is so much smaller. And so the acceleration due to gravity on the moon is about 1.62 meters per second squared. And so if I calculate my weight on the moon, we would take my mass, which is 82 kilograms, multiply that by the acceleration due to gravity on the moon, and my weight on the moon would be uh, about 133 newtons. And that's only about 30 pounds. And so if you want to lose weight, you can just go to the moon. Okay, so let's get back to our astronaut. Are astronauts really weightless when they are orbiting the Earth? And actually, they aren't. It's a common misconception that astronauts are weightless as they orbit the Earth. In reality, they are still experiencing about 90% of the acceleration due to gravity. So why don't they fall right back down to Earth? Well, the reason is because at the same time the astronauts are falling, they are moving horizontally very, very fast. So it's almost if they are falling around the Earth. Now, if the astronauts were not moving horizontally very, very quickly, they would actually just plummet right back down into the Earth. And that is the force of gravity, or in other words, weight.